Well, good day there, my fellow nerd. In this Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader video, we are checking out all of the unique features and abilities available to the Operative Archetype. This is the third video in the series, so make sure you're subscribed and check out the rest of the episodes on the Gaming Analytics channel page. Quick thanks to Alcade Games for the feature complete build of the game. That'll be coming out on the PC, PS4 and 5 and the Xboxes on the 7th of December. Now, let's get nerdy. So, right out of the gate at level 1, the Operative Archetype instantly gains access to its keystone feature, Analyze Enemies. Now, Analyze Enemies and essentially the Operative as a whole is all about stacking up exploit points on your chosen enemies. And then thereafter, in combination with other archetype abilities, use those accumulated exploit points in order to inflict additional damage or impose additional effects. When activating the Analyze Enemies ability, the affected enemies within your line of sight gains one stack and if your operative were to attack that enemy, it also deals additional damage, equal to 10% for each and every stack of exploit on that enemy, plus a percentage calculated by 5 times your perception bonus. Moving on to the generic archetype abilities, we can see that through its 15 level progression tree, the operative class gains access to 3 different archetype abilities. Like the warrior archetype, the operative cannot choose its archetype ability at level 3, but instead you gain the expose weakness at default. Whereas at both levels 7 and 12, you are free to pick up one of the remaining 5 archetype abilities, being Precise Strike, Joint Analysis, Sniping Shot, Intimidation and Tactical Knowledge. Exposed Weakness can be used by an operative once each and every turn for 0 action points. And when activated, removes all of your exploit stacks on that specific target and then decreases the target's dodge, parry and armor by a percentage calculated by multiplying the number of exploit stacks on that enemy times your perception bonus plus 10. On this basis, the exposed weakness feature is obviously extremely valuable against hard to hit or heavily armored opponents. Next up is the Precise Attack Operative Ability, enabling you to maximize your chances of making a successful attack in clutch situations. Mechanically speaking, Precise Attack removes all of the exploit stacks on a specific target, decreasing the effectiveness of any cover that that enemy is hiding behind by a percentage calculated by multiplying your operative's perception value times the amount of stacks currently on that target plus 5. This is extremely useful if you think about that full cover adds a 60% chance to miss on ranged attacks whereas partial cover decreases your chances of making an effective ranged attack hit by 35%. Additionally, you also have an increased chance of hitting an enemy with a ranged attack while using precise attack by the same value calculated no matter if they are in cover or not. The next operative ability is Joint Analysis, with which you give your allies a buff to their damage output on enemies that have exploit stacks until your operative's next turn equal to your intelligence score. Next up is an essential operative ability for any long range camp and kill build, being Sniping Spot. The Sniping Spot ability is also fairly straightforward, providing your operative with a flat bonus of 25% to cover, as well as 15 point each to your perception and ballistic skill, all of which decreases the chances of you getting hit by ranged and melee attacks, as well as increasing the probability of you making that long ranged sniping shot. Now let's move on to the Intimidation Operative Archetype Ability. In essence, when you activate the Intimidation ability and you attack an enemy with a ranged weapon or a melee attack, all of the other enemies directly next to that enemy being attacked reduces the amount of damage that those enemies can do by a percentage calculated by multiplying your operative's perception bonus by 2. 
Furthermore, the percentage of damage reduction is also doubled in the case that the enemy being affected by this ability has an armor percentage value less than three times your intelligence bonus. This is an extremely useful operative ability if you have a lot of enemy combatants grouping together, maybe pulling aggro on your frontline fighter. Last but not least of the general archetype features for the operative is the ability Tactical Knowledge. In exchange for one action point and either one exploit stack from multiple enemies within range or all exploit stacks if there's only one enemy within the effective range, Tactical Knowledge grants all of your allies a two times the number of exploits percentage in armor until the end of the combat encounter. Furthermore, if at the time of activating the Tactical Knowledge ability, you are removing more than four exploit stacks, then your operative also gains a boost in their damage output equal to the number of the exploits removed until the end of the combat encounter. If you're still here and you haven't done already, which you probably have, then please hit that like button. It really does help out the channel more than you can imagine. Now then, let's turn our attention to the Operative's ultimate ability, which comes in the form of its heroic act and desperate measure, called Dismantling Attack. When activating the heroic act version of Dismantling Attack, all of the enemies that are currently within that combat scenario instantly gain one stack of exploit. Additionally, your Operative also gets a free attack on any enemy of your choosing, and that attack cannot miss the intended target. Furthermore, after this attack lands, that enemy also suffers a 30% penalty to its dodge and a reduction of 30% to its armor for the remainder of the combat encounter. The Desperate Measures version of Dismantling Attack does exactly the same as the Heroic Act version, however with the added disadvantage of all operative attacks also coming at an additional one action point cost until the end of the combat encounter. The operative's dismantling attack ultimate ability can also be upgraded at level 9 and level 15 and you have four different options to choose from. The first of which freezes your target in place for the operative's next turn as well as decreases its movement points by 3 until the end of the combat. The second of the upgrade options to Dismantling Attack decreases both the weapon and ballistic skills of the target of the Dismantling Attack's ability by 30 points. Whereas the third option also adds the benefit of intimidating all of the enemies adjacent to the target of the Dismantling Ability Attack, reducing all of their armor by 15% until the end of the combat encounter. The last of the upgrade options allows you to take an additional attack in the form of an attack of opportunity each and every time the target of the dismantling attack makes an attack either against yourself or against one of your allies. And there you have it, the operative archetype, class, features and abilities in a nutshell. On your way out, please remember to give this video a like, maybe share it with your friends and if you've seen a couple of the gaming analytics channel videos by now, please consider becoming a subscriber. Hope to see you again soon and stay nerdy.